All right, guys. It's all my small van here. How we did look? This is going to be a, uh, a new style of video, which I'm uh, doing, much in the sort of esque of delivery man. Um, I am currently on the A38, heading towards, heading towards, heading to merge onto the M1 shortly. Got a job which I picked up this morning in Telford, and I'm on my way up to Sheffield today. Got two boxes of air conditioning components going from an air conditioning company in Telford, about a mile away from my house, to going to another air conditioning company in Sheffield, and I've also got a box of. Uh, of wine or champagne or some kind of alcohol as a Christmas present. So yeah, I bought myself a new, um, <clears throat> I'm going to try different things. This is a uh, just a, another magnetic camera mount for my phone. I'm going to try and do sort of more ride-along videos. The scenery at the minute isn't particularly brilliant, but it's the time of year, isn't it? Well, it's the time of year on the road that I'm on. I'm hoping, uh, I'm going to try this out first and then I'm thinking also in the new year about uh, investing in a GoPro and possibly some kind of head mount as well to do drive along videos. Yeah, the, uh, the um, angle of this isn't ideal, but it's alright though. Uh, so I can get, obviously, numerous people criticise my driving style now. <laughs> And uh, yeah, possible mistakes I'll make and all that jazz. But hey, you put yourself, you put videos on the internet and you um, leave yourself up for criticism. Don't you? I'm a big enough boy, I'm going to say that. Uh, physically and metaphorically speaking. So yeah, how are we all doing? Um, been a little while again since I've uploaded the video, but uh, I'm not going to lie, I do get a bit of creative block when doing this sort of stuff. Um, yeah, just give you an update on me. I had a very good November, but I did push myself a lot. I was doing six day weeks quite regularly. I managed to invoice a nice amount of money doing that. Um, haven't worked a lot in December so far. I did uh, the first week of December, I had three days off that week, so I only worked two days. We managed to hit my target both days. Birthday last Monday, I did actually work it, but I had the following day off and uh, did a few bits with some family members. Did uh, a couple of nice jobs last week, did a um, job up to Newcastle for James, uh, and then stopped over and, well, I picked up another job from Newcastle to Leeds, which was like a co load job. Stopped over in Leeds because I delivered the following morning, and then I managed to pick up two other little jobs around Leeds that evening. So that works out well, and then I got a job uh, from Leeds to Manchester, Manchester, Huddersfield, and got another job from one of my contacts from Blackburn to Stoke and then home, and then two uh, two sort of localish Midlands days really. That. So yeah, I did, did alright last week, I can't remember what I did last Monday. Oh no, I did a job up to... did a job to... Uh, what was it now? I was on Leeds. No, I did a job to uh, Keithley, that's where it was. I was up in uh, Yorkshire last week a lot. And uh, then I got a job back from Halifax to Kidderminster on Monday, so I went with Target doing that as well. That was good. Hit my target, well, five quid short of my target yesterday, which was Monday the 18th. Got a job from... Oh yeah, I got a job booked in going from Telford to Stonehouse, which is like, it's like Gloucester. Um, and then got a job from Bristol to Bromsgrove, and then did Dudley back to Telford. The last job I did yesterday actually was delivering to another CX shipper in Telford I've never worked for before. Pretty mad, you know. Especially considering I've been doing this for just over two years now. 
He does actually post the X jobs. I think I think it was mainly bigger van stuff, which is what he posts. Uh, which I've never really seen him before, but he was a nice guy, probably with Jamie. And I delivered to his house, and I'll do his pump truck. Um, he got a loot and van as part of his fleet. And um, yeah, he bought himself a new pump truck, which I actually delivered to his house, so a bit of a chat with him, which was nice. I've actually met a few shippers now, face to face, through doing this. And um, yeah, it's always good. It's always good to be the inside of the coin. So, uh, it's good to get all the people's perspectives on stuff. So, uh, how's everyone's months been? Um, I heard a lot of talk about people complaining about it being quiet at the minute. So I must admit, I've been keeping reasonably busy recently. Uh, my plan is to work as much of the rest of this week as I can do. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Really, I'm just trying to get. I mean, I've had I've had two very good months. Um, I've got like well, three three good months. September, October, and November, but particularly November was a really, really good month in voice and wise. Um, managed to get some ADR work in as well. I've managed to do a huge amount of ADR work. Um, done about, probably about 10 ADR jobs. Since I've got my uh, licence, I haven't done anything in the last month ADR wise. But that is the issue with relying on CX for ADR work. Um, yeah, that's what it is, you know, you, you, that's the risk that you take. There is ADR work on CX and there is ADR small van work on CX. I mean, there's a common misconception that there isn't. Um, obviously, I'm not always in the right place at the right time to do it, as I'm not always in the right place at the right time to do any CX jobs, but, you know, it's, um, again, this is the risk you take. I'm getting a lot more regular work now. There are a lot more people who I'm getting direct work from. Uh, which has been particularly apparent over this last six months, which is good, because I think it does work out well. This is the, the, the benefits of making connections with people uh, to you know, have regular work like that, as opposed to as opposed to um, relying on CX entirely for work. So uh, yeah. I understand that the uh, various reasons <clears throat> that the industry is quiet at the minute, but uh, you've got to take what you can get, haven't you? You've got to be, uh, you've got to strike while the iron's hot, as they say. So yeah, let me know whether you like this style of video. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and do mainly, well, just had an idea of doing drive along videos for a little bit. Particularly when I go to scenic areas, which uh, I don't a lot of the time, but yeah, I might start doing a bit more editing in that regard. And um, yeah, see how it goes from there. You know, just a different different style of video, really. Different style of video. I've, obviously, I've been doing sex videos now for just over two years, and I know I'm very sporadic with them. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not as regular on my posting of them as uh, the other guys. Um, obviously, I do talk to the other guys who are the regular YouTube contributors. And, uh, you know, we have our own little WhatsApp group and go in there and chat shit, basically. <laughs> um, it also works out well because, you know, sometimes we can cover jobs for each other and stuff like that. Obviously, with this sort of stuff, as with everything, communication is key. And uh, keeping yourself open to communication is key. Uh, I don't know whether any, any of you are on the three telephone network, um, but uh, there was an outage on it, well, about a couple of weeks ago now, start of December. Last, I, think it was, I think it was the last day of November, actually. And, um, yeah, they were majorly scuppered stuff up. Thankfully, I've got two phones. So I ended up just hotspotting uh, my data from one phone on the Vodafone network to my other one, which is on Smarty, which is a subsidiary of three. Um, I don't know whether three... 
well, they definitely they did release a statement saying that uh, you know, obviously it wasn't their fault. Uh, you know, obviously, in this day and age where nobody wants to accept responsibility or culpability for anything, nobody's anything's nobody's anything's you know, uh, nothing is anybody's fault, should I say? And uh, you know, everyone's got fucking Teflon shoulders. But hey ho. Yeah, what's everyone's plans for Christmas? I'm having a quiet one, you know. Um, it's your family, really. Um, planning to meet up with a few mates who I haven't met up with in a little while. People who I used to work with and that. Um, just that's all. And uh, yeah, just having a merry old time, really. Doing uh, the old. Christmas thing of uh, filling myself up with food and alcohol. <laughs> um, I've recently gone back into, gone into the gym and uh, feeling the benefits of it. I'm trying to go between two and three times a week if I can do. I must admit, it's, um, it is helping me a lot, both mentally and physically. Obviously, it's not something that everyone can incorporate, but I feel like it's quite an important thing, especially doing in this doing this job, where you are static for the majority of the day. I'm just going to adjust that. There we go. Where you are static for the majority of the day, and um, you're sitting on your ass. Obviously, there is. Obviously, there can be some jobs which do involve some handball, where you are in and out of the van. And um, yeah, it's you know can uh, be good. It's always good to keep as physically healthy and mentally healthy as you can do. I'm a big advocate of that. Um, diet, obviously, as well as important, which again can also suffer doing this job. You don't need me to tell you that, you know. It's very also easy to start scranning uh, a load of rubbish as you're going along. Um, I personally don't really take food with me anymore. Um, Downside of that is I do spend money while I'm out, but the upside of that is I do find that I'm generally eating less when I, you know, I only eat when I feel hungry and because I've got nothing to hand. I haven't got the old uh, feed bag approach of um, me stuffing my fat face every five minutes, you know what I mean? <laughs> so there you go. Um, yeah, and our delivery man has kept us up to date with his... Uh, Weight loss journey, and I wish him all the best. I know Big Beardy has gone through a weight loss journey as well recently. That's good for him, and uh, also Tom TG Logistics as well. He's going on a weight loss journey. You know, all the fair, fair play to you guys. I'm, you know, it's it's um, it's a good life goal to have. It really is. Um, so yeah, don't know what else I'm waffle about really. I'm a pretty boring bastard, as we all know, so I don't really have any <laughs> topics of conversation. Um, but yeah, how's everyone's last couple of uh, months and weeks been? I've got a feeling you're going to come around to me and say they've been overwhelmingly crap. That's uh, in terms of work. But hey, huh? um, if you'd like to uh, give me some suggestions about what you want to hear me talk about in this sort of thing. I'm pretty much open to discuss anything apart from religion or politics because I leave that to the professionals and I don't know enough about either to have an informed opinion on anything but uh, yeah um, obviously as I say I've just merged onto the M1 so it's not exactly like I'm uh, <laughs> um, showing you great scenery I don't really want to show uh, some of the stuff where I pick up or drop off either a number of reasons. One, some companies get funny about that and it can be pretty litigious when it comes to stuff like that, as in just showing their um, where they're based and uh, stuff like that, because you, you can inadvertently show manufacturing processes and that. And, um, yeah, stuff can happen where you can have your videos taken down and stuff like that. I've seen that before, various people. Uh, and uh, yeah, um, and also, you know, 
from some of the uh, people who I work for. Same sort of thing. Don't want their um, don't want stuff being shown over the internet, which I respect because given the same circumstances, I don't think I would either. I'm quite a uh, private guy in a lot of ways. Obviously, I've got the YouTube channel, but I'm not on money, so I'm not on much social media. Um, for various reasons, mainly for privacy and mental health reasons, and uh, I respect people's privacy as well as I think people should respect mine. You know, um, a running thing probably to say for a guy who's posting this to a social media platform. <laughs> this is what it is, man. But yeah. Um, although I've got the ability to waffle on about shit for hours. So I feel like this is a good platform for me to be able to do this. But yeah. Um, so yeah. Uh, I think I will leave it there for now. Oh, yeah. A couple of things to uh, talk about with, with the uh, before I go. Before, um, uh, yeah. Before I start trying to eat more rubbish. Just the updates for the rest of the guys recently. Um, obviously James has got his new van now, he's Luton. You know, with various degrees of success, varying degrees of success with that. He's also had a lot of issue really with people who he's been summing out jobs to. Which I feel for him because James is a not only a, a bloody nice bloke, but he's also a very good shipper, a very fair shipper as well. And I thought I do find it extremely unfair. Obviously I've got a vested interest in saying this because I'm a good mate of his, but um, I do find it very unfair that the people who he's worked for recently, well, who've worked for him recently, have, have taken a piss, basically, for one of a better word. And, um, yeah, they've, they've just uh, been completely out of order, really. Um, there doesn't seem to be much give and take with a lot of people anymore. There's not, there's not many people, I don't believe, call me a cynic. They will go out of their way to uh, to uh, work with you in situations, especially when things go wrong, especially when they have to do, go above and beyond potentially for you, which is a shame. Um, especially because you know James is a guy who would uh, do it, no questions asked, the other way around. But, um, yeah, I think I think really the, the video that he did yesterday. What he talked, the subject matter that he talked about kind of highlights the quote unquote quality of some of the CX drivers and companies, really. Um, obviously, we all make mistakes, but the, some of the stuff he talked about is mind boggling, really. Um, just, the, just the whole thing of, of just being obnoxious and obstructive for the sake of it. Just, I don't understand it. I don't understand the mentality of people like that. What can I say? Um, Dave Anvil has, uh, yeah, been having his trials and tribulations with his van, um, which again has just been a situation where it's been out of his control and it's been, um, well, yeah, just awful, really. You, know, um, you put your trust in company to do repairs like that for you and then they turn around and eventually try and pull the wool over your eyes and commit fraud which uh, is shocking really but sometimes we have to go through these experiences we have to have the we have to have uh, the bad in life to realise the good don't we there you go this may be rather philosophical again <laughs> as I do from South South obviously Saints Man keeps ploughing on bless him doing the videos and reaching his target I think out of I think out of all certain CX YouTubers he's by far in a way the most consistent. But he has his methods of doing things and he's also a fellow fellow uh, Doblo brother. So yeah, there's that. Um, obviously we've got Neil who keeps plodding away as well and he's doing well for himself. And uh, I'm trying to think who else has been doing videos recently. White Knight Dave, he's still Uploaded videos. Um, I think he's been having a few up and down weeks, but 
Uh, I must admit, I went to the northeast for the first time in about 18 months last week. I was the ex job, and it is a tough area. It is a very tough area. Um, even if you, even if you know the shippers. I'm uh, slow down because the speed cameras. See, what a prat. Never mind. Um, it is a very tough area, even if you know the shippers. Um, quite why there isn't as much work on CX in the northeast as there is around other areas. I couldn't really tell you. I don't know whether it's to do with the type of industry or whether it's the fact that. Um, cause, yeah, I mean, you know, it is a, a large conurbation and it is a, you know, a, a, an industrialised area. But whether it's the fact that there's local logistics companies who've got the work around there sewn up, don't subcontract a lot of it out, or whether there just isn't the amount of work with the industry around there, and there is in comparison to other areas, I couldn't possibly tell you. Maybe you can let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, delivery man has been uh, on going into Scotland, hasn't he? Bless him. Christ, he put some hours in that chap. Good grief. Um, no, there we go. There's a bit of comment on. Ho, 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 where the hoes at? Go home, then. There you go. Must be graffiti on the back of that GXO wagon. Um, yeah. There you go, obviously, my boss is kind of rapper there, or a local comedian at the GXO depot, but there you go. <laughs> yeah, we're making a commentary on the other, the other guys, wasn't I? Probably putting you all to sleep, isn't it? There you go, that's what it is. Uh, Andy P has been upon on. I see him on did a job for James yesterday. Down to that there, London. Had a bit of a, uh, a nightmare, bless him, but I don't know what a pain in the arse London is. Uh, yeah, it's um, yeah. It's always. I don't know whether there's any uh, new drivers who've been on CX, who, well, who, new career driver content out there. Um, I do search every now and again, but there aren't many. I do watch a few wagon drivers. The main one I watch is a guy called. Uh, he used to be called Chatting with Me in an HGV. I don't know what it's called now, I think he's recently renamed his channel. He's a guy called Barry, he's from Wigan. He's a really good laugh, bless him. He's proper funny, proper charismatic. And he's got probably the most broad Wigan accent that you could ever wish to imagine, but he's a good, uh, he's a good laugh. And he's been on and off YouTube for years, I used to watch him years and years ago. And he did, um, I think he also did a, uh, an adventure and uh, outdoors bit on his channel, which I used to be into. I used to be into a bit of the old one, of course, uh, Bushcraft and all that. Carry on, I've been doing it for a while. Might be something I'd like to get into. But there you go. And that's how I got watching him. And then he started doing uh, content with about driving his wagon. There you go. There's another uh, question for you all. What hobbies, hobbies? What hobbies have you got? And is there any hobbies that you would like to get into? Me personally, you're probably going to laugh at this, but um, I've got a mate who does metal detecting. Goes up all up and down the country doing that. And uh, yeah, um, I've been wanting to get into that for the last god knows how long. A lot of you are probably saying you boring bastard, but I am interested in history and uh, the artifacts that come with it. Uh, the only issue, well, the main issue that I've got with that is twofold. One, having the time to do it. And two, the fact that uh, land laws, especially in England, are such that you have to get permission from the landowner to be able to uh, go on their land. Which um, can be a pain in the arse, particularly if you don't know the people. Particularly a lot of the uh, landowners and farm owners in this country won't be particularly... Happy to let any Tom, Dick and Harry go on the land. The main exception to that is beaches, which are public land. 
Uh, public land is going very, very few and far between in this country. Um, and as such, it makes it hard to do. Um, Scotland is the exception to the rule with that. There are different land laws in Scotland, of which I don't know all the ins and outs. Perhaps Neil Neptune can elaborate. I mean, this is a, a debonair gentleman and scholar who seems to know a lot about a lot. But I do understand they have something called freedom to roam in Scotland, which uh, basically gives them um, the average Scottish citizen a uh, greater freedom to roam the land than the average English citizen. Well, hey ho, there you go. Um, I'd say I've recently taken up going to the gym again, uh, which you can class a hobby. Been in and out of gyms really since I was 16 and I've just turned 32, so long old time. Um, I mainly do, I mainly do uh, weights, really. Uh, I do occasionally do cardio, I probably should do more, but um, I used to be quite big into my gym work when I was younger. I played a lot of sports when I was younger as well. I used to be quite, in my early 20s, I used to be pretty lean and slim and muscular. And now I'm just a big old lump. <laughs> but I work within my limitations. I've had quite a few sports injuries over the years. And I know my limitations now. I don't go mad with it. Um, I don't use heavy weights anymore, really, because I don't want to injure myself. So I'll go for the tactic of doing more repetitions at a lighter weight, which also um, acts as a bit of cardio work as well, rather than shorter sets with heavier weights, which focuses more on building muscle. So there you go. Perhaps can expand more at a later date into my limited knowledge of that, if you want me to. There you go, I'm just passing the Woodall services. I do need to use the facilities at some point. So I will end this now. Oh, there you go, you can judge me for that. Bit of a late, bit of a late, uh, bit of a late exit there. I did check my mirrors, so it's all good. Yeah, I'm gonna pop in here. Use the facilities or go to the bog, as uh, most courier drivers would say. And uh, yeah. Catch you later, guys. Let me know if you like this new format or not. Speak to you later.